I'm standing here as one person, but I'm representing thousands of people, people who work for me, people who are our partners, the farmers that we work with. This is an opportunity to show a different side of the Liberian story. This is my mother, and she's the hero for the story I'd like to tell today. And she used almost all of her profits to enroll me into one of the best schools in the country, which laid a solid foundation for my future. When I graduated, I knew that I had to return home to try to contribute in some way to my country's post-war reconstruction effort. You see, in Liberia, palm trees grow everywhere. But unfortunately, most of the smallholder farmers who make palm oil continue to live in poverty for several reasons. Very fresh palm fruit. Everybody palm fruit is useful. In Liberia, we have about 29,000 smallholder farmers who make palm oil. But a lot of those farmers remain in poverty. This is the traditional way of making palm oil. It's very hard work. Most farmers don't have access to machines. The same amount of work that it takes eight hours to do by hand, the machine can do the same amount of work in about 30 minutes. And so J-Palm solves what is essentially a last mile problem. We travel to very rural areas and set up simple machines that enable farmers to produce the oils much more efficiently. They use it to make the oils. We take about 10% of the oils. Well, I'd like to understand your business model a little bit better. So what's your source of revenue? The source of revenue is from the products that we make, from the oil. We have lotions, soaps, basically whatever product you, you have in your bathroom we want to be able to create uh, for skin and hair care. I, I smell very I good. Smell, I feel yeah. Who, who designed this? You know, I, de I designed it. You designed this? Yes. Good. Every product we have, I made. I made, yeah, for the first time. So now we're almost done. I'm the first person to test all, all the products. I would, I would make them, I would test them out, see how they work for me, and then uh, we'll bring it and share it with, uh, with everybody else here. No, you love it. <laughs> it is difficult for people to accept local products. After the war, it became easier to just import things than to produce it because the war eroded almost all of the manufacturing base of Liberia. When we started, there was a perception that made in Liberia products were of inferior quality. You had to be able to prove to the customer that we're able to create, not just create good products, but to be able to create good products consistently. When I made this up? I don't need any August. August, okay. For every dollar palm oil sold, compared to the skincare products, the, the difference is about 46 times, so that we can make the business model more solid and more sustainable and impact the lives of, of more farmers.